Hey gang, are you a pantser or a plotter? In the past, I've advocated outlining before you write to save time and make sure you don't get sucked into dead ends. There are a few things more disheartening than writing yourself into a corner and then having to back up 20 pages to write your way around the problem. However, right now I'm halfway through a crime novel and I have to admit, I am writing it by the seat of my pants. I know what the last line will be. I generally know what happens in the last scene, but I don't know how I'll get there. And it's exhilarating. I'm not religious, but this requires a real act of faith. The best thing about it so far has to be that I can't be bored. The reader won't be bored because I'm not bored. I don't know what happens next. In a novel or a short story, I value the art of double-crossing the reader and the O. Henry surprise. As I write this novel, I'm finding I'm surprising myself a lot. I'm putting in more beats per chapter, so there's a lot of action. And when I get stuck for that action, it arises from character. Action and dialogue arise organically from character. When I get stuck, I look to the characters and their conflicting aims, and something always comes up for what the next chapter will be. Also, I should say I'm using Scrivener now. Uh, it's an awesome program, and I'll be writing all my books on Scrivener from now on. And I'm writing about a chapter a day, um, so somewhere between one to 3,000 words in there. So you can expect to see the series begin this summer, and I'll have more news on that soon. It's exciting times. Also, self-help for stoners seems to be getting some attention. If you haven't tried Sex, Death, and Mind Control yet, take a look. It's a dark collection of short stories with a lot of surprises, and there's a couple of award winners in the mix. People are out to control you, so be prepared and get Sex, Death, and Mind Control by Robert Chaz Chute. That's me. That's the Pantsing vs. Plotting commentary today and the shameless self-promotion and commercial. Have a great day, and strangle a mime.